Welcome back to the final section of the public address system. Now that you've got your administrator configured the way you like it, it's time to look at the component controls in the design schematic. As we mentioned earlier, the most important component is your PA router. This component routes all pages and messages from page stations to their appropriate zones, it delays, queues, and sorts pages based on priority and zone availability, and mixes background music. You'll see that each zone in your router has a row with a number of settings. The first area, Outputs, lets you mute the output to that zone, adjust the output gain, as well as choose a squelch priority. You select one of the priority levels that we just established in Administrator, and everything at that priority or lower will be silenced. During the break, I created a low priority play message command so we can see it in action. It's going to play some music in substitute of an announcement, but I just needed something that was going to last long enough. So if I issue the command, the squelch LED will illuminate to let me know that a message is being squelched. If I lower my squelch priority, then it will pass through. You could create a control change command and schedule it to change a zone's squelch priority to prevent certain messages from being played in your zone at certain times. At the bottom of this section, you can see the buffer, which displays the amount of PA router audio RAM in use. The status section shows whether a zone is squelched, whether it's active, and if so, it will show you the source pin number that is playing and the priority that it is being played at. Here, you can also cancel all commands or cancel all queued commands, which of course is everything that's been queued but not the active page. And remember that you could drag any control into the named controls bin to make a change control command, and you could initiate these functions from a page station. The page section lets you mute or adjust the gain of pages in each zone. The message section lets you do the same thing for messages, as well as displays the file name of whatever message is being played. Let's cancel this command, and go to our audio player and play some background music. You can see right now that both of my channels of my audio player are being sent to zone 1, so I'm going to send the right channel to zone 2. There we go. You can also connect different audio players and have completely different music in different zones. You can mute or adjust the gain for each zone, or you can mute or adjust the gain for each background music source, which would be applied to every zone that it's routed to. The BGM Ducker allows you to control how quickly and deeply the background music is attenuated when pages are activated. You could think of the attack knob as a fade out time. The depth is how much attenuation is applied, with 60 dB basically turning it silent, and the release is how long it takes for the music to fade back in. So, let's make a page, and you'll hear how the background music cuts out. Attention everyone, this music is awful. Attention everyone, this music is awful. Voila. So, let's close the router control panel and now look at how the virtual page station handles all of these features that you're now familiar with. The biggest difference is that you can choose the zones and priority for each command that you issue. First, select the zones that you'd like. I'll select zone 1. You'll notice that these are still labeled zone 1 and zone 2, but if you dragged them into a UCI, you could relabel them to match your zone names. Next, you choose your mode, live, auto, delay, or messages to send a message. For all modes, you can then select its priority level. For pages, you can select the maximum page duration, as well as select a preamble. In messaging mode, you can choose your message here. The first field is the subdirectory folder, if you created folders within the primary folder, and the second field is for the audio file. All modes have the same split, archive, and retry options as you've become familiar with in the administrator. When you're ready, hit the play or start button. Left ear. You'll notice that there isn't a keypad or any command buttons here, but you could create buttons that do exactly what you want and include them in the UCI you build for a virtual page station such as this. Finally, let's disconnect from the core and look at the virtual page station's properties panel. You can choose to hide the zone buttons, leaving only the select all and clear all. You could create some zone group buttons, which if you load back to the core, will allow you to select one of the tags you established rather than a single zone. And enable robot controls will allow you to use your page station to command an army of battle robots to destroy your enemies at the ultimate expense of your own humanity. Oh, wait, hold on. 
I'm being told the battle robots are still in development. So for now, that button creates some controls that are intended for external or Lua scripting control. But someday, that button will let you take over the world. All right, that concludes the public address tutorial. We've gone through almost every aspect, feature, and component that you'll run into while integrating a PA into your system. And by now, you should see how you have extensive, customizable control over zones, priority, a queuing, and paging. If there's anything that you didn't understand, check out the help file on that topic. Thanks for watching. Good luck on the assessments, and we'll see you next time.